Hello everybody, Pastor Jackson here. Psalm 125 verses 1 and 2 says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. You can trust God, you can trust in his protection. So I want to encourage you, stay home as much as you can, wash your hands often, and take every precaution emphasized by the health department. Easter's coming up this Sunday. We'll, we're going to have a special online communion service at 9 and 11 a.m. So find something in your house that you can use for bread and for grape juice and have it with you Sunday as we fellowship together online. I'm believing God to do miracles and healings right there in your home. And if you have to watch this after this service or after we're on at 11, maybe you're watching it later on in the day, just get your juice and get your bread or whatever and join us and expect your miracles then. You can join us for worship on uh, worship services Sunday at 9 and 11 by going to YouTube and entering Heritage International Christian Church with no spaces. And it'll take you right there. You can also join us right there on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for our midweek Bible study. Now, beginning Monday after Easter, April the 13th now, on Monday, April the 13th, we're going to offer a special conference call prayer time at 7.14 a.m. and 7.14 p.m. We'll be praying together Monday through Saturday, twice a day, for you, your family, our country, and whatever the Lord, lay, the Lord lays on our hearts, or whatever he leads us to pray for. It'll be like our 21 days of prayer that we had back in January, but it's going to be on the phone or online. So, and I'd love to have all of you to join us during this prayer time, even if you're not a member of our church. If you would like to receive an invitation to the prayer calls, be sure to fill out the online information update form, which will be on the heritageky.org website pretty soon. Now, let me say an important word about small groups. Now, more than ever before, I believe every Christian needs to be in a small group. In January, we talked about the seven uphill habits, and I believe this is an important time to sharpen your spiritual habits. And in the fourth, the fourth habit, remember, it was, about, it was about relationships. It was about getting into spiritual relationships. So I want to encourage you, go online and check out the small groups and get connected. Again, it's going to be online, so you can go to the website and find out how you can get connected to small groups. But it's so important that you grow spiritually during this time. When we come out of this uh, crisis, this, uh, this virus crisis, we want to come out stronger. But the enemy's plan is for us to come out weaker. So you've got to take steps. You've got to make sure that you're doing things to sharpen yourself. And we've given you the key seven habits to strengthen and sharpen yourself while you're in this crisis so that you come out to receive your blessings and receive your harvest. Okay, let's, let's pray. Father, we thank you that your hand of protection is still on us and on our country. Thank you that you still have a plan and a purpose for America. Turn our nation away from our sins. Humble us. Help our people to go back to church and to love God again, love you again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that, that you have called the body of Christ around the world to stand and intercede against this COVID-19 threat. We curse this curse in the name of Jesus. And we thank you in advance for causing us to find a cure to stop this demonic plague. We will not permit fear to overtake us. We will continue to spread the gospel with signs and wonders through every available means. And we thank you, Father, for manifesting your presence with us on Easter. As churches all over the world celebrate online what you are doing, giving humanity a new birth and putting the devil under our feet. God made churches grow all over our land with humble, grateful, 
thankful people from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And Pastor Janie and I, remember we love you and we're looking forward to seeing you soon.